Six, ten day. Let's get you an update. Right, I've done a lot, a little stuff, um, you know, just to move the project along. As you can probably notice, there's a lot of stuff buttoned up that really wasn't buttoned up. Some stuff that was mocked in place. These are still just sitting here. None of those little things. I got to take them off of my other uh, rad support that I have outside. Uh, so yeah, the, the headlights are just sitting in there. I did put some rubber on the edge here just to make that less sharp. Uh, I got all my radiator hoses hooked up. Uh, this is the lower hose. Uh, I have the fan just kind of plugged in that way for now. And it does work. I did run the car for a while. Uh, I was trying to hoping to bring it through a heat cycle, but I think the thermostat that I got in here is not the right one because it's not opening. Uh, and I remember when I put it in, it seemed extra long. And this is the one that I took out, and I should have just reused this one because there's nothing wrong with it. I just needed a new gasket. Uh, but I just ended up getting a whole new thermostat, and I think, if I remember correctly, when I put it in yesterday, it was about that long. Uh, and then it compressed down to this length here when I put it in. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up putting this in. I have to let it cool off because I was trying to run it through a heat cycle. But the radiator wasn't getting hot. The fan was on. The gauge was showing that it was very hot. And this was hot, but this was cold. So I wasn't getting no flow past the thermostat. So once this cools off, I will uh, take this off and swap to that old, the other thermostat. That should fix that. I did get some hoses and stuff to redo my catch can. I'm thinking I'm going to mount it here, which is part of the reason why the headlight is mocked in there, so I could see what, how much room I have. So right in this area is going to be the catch can, because uh, I used to have my intake pipe used to come around and go down that way. So now I have, you know, ABS. It'll be catch can. And it was actually cheaper for me just to buy this whole kit with the hose and the fittings um, and the catch can than it was to just buy hoses and fittings. So I got another catch can. So be putting a new catch can on it. I thought about maybe doing one for each side of the engine, but this, I really don't think that needs to be that extreme. Uh, back to whatever else I finished up. Uh, I did put this hose here for the brake booster off the back of the manifold. I pulled the manifold off and I got all of these steam port fittings, steam port fittings hooked up in here. And these guys here. And the one back there and the one back there. They all go here. They go whoop, under here to the tank there. Uh, the nitrous line is hooked up. It's just kind of hand tight. I'm not worried about that at the moment. Uh, all the hose clamps that I had uh, just kind of sitting there, I tightened. I put all these clamps on, put these here. Uh, the biggest thing is this lower hose I didn't have figured out. And this, there's the part number. Uh, it's a Gates uh, 23460. I kind of went and just looked to see which ones I thought would fit. And this was, these were 180 degrees off, so this was turned like over here. Uh, and it fit that way, but then there was like a weird kink in it. So I cut it, and I put a piece of this that I had cut off from, uh, I got like the upper radiator hoses and lower from eBay through the CX Racing ones and then 
for the old setup the you know the other radiator had the fitting over there so the pipe that used to go like over there i cut so that's a piece of it and then there's another piece of it in here so i cut that turned it this fits all nice there's plenty of room here and i could i think actually when i take this off i'm going to trim this a little bit and bring it in uh to create more of a gap here not that i need it but it's kind of close doesn't need to be plenty of room and i also got a new battery uh so I spent the money and I got an Optima Red Top. They're good batteries. I had these on my Subaru back in the day and I literally went to Iraq for a year and left it sitting with the battery disconnected. I had a circuit breaker in the trunk. When I got home after a year, I pushed the button on the circuit breaker, turned the key and that car started right up. So I got that because I like them. I think they're worth money. And this is the second time this thing has went down to six volts. And it won't charge up past 6 volts. And it's one of those Duralast gold crappy ones from AutoZone. So I'm going to take that back for core. Uh, so that brings me into here. All right, so I got this piece welded in. This, If you don't know about the E36, normally your battery goes down here. And this is open, you know, and, and this sheet metal goes around there like that. And across here. And I've cut it. To make room for that dual exhaust that I'm building. So uh, the Optima is going to sit here. I'm going to mount it on its side right here. But I have to make this out of sheet metal, which is what, what I'm working on next. Hopefully, I can get that done today. Uh, you can see it's kind of this is a rough shape that I need. Uh, this is going to be a little tricky getting in here, but we'll figure it out. I don't necessarily know. I'm thinking I'm going to cut a slot in this and then uh, slide the sheet metal into that slot and weld it all top and bottom all the way around. So we'll see how I'm going to do that. Other than that, nothing's changed in the back. I do need to cut the opening on the bumper. I got to match this on that side. So that's something that needs to be done. So yeah, anyway, uh, I'm going to get to work. I'll catch you guys later. All right, guys, I've been out here grinding. I haven't been recording. Let's see what I got going on. That's my rough fit. Uh, I did end up cutting a slot and then just inserting that, uh, that plate in there so I can weld it out here. And on the inside, be nice and strong. Uh, I'm just making some marks here to grind a little bit off of here. See if I can close this gap up a little bit and this gap. And then if I can do the whole plate this way. So I'm going to take a little bit off here. And hopefully I can close this gap up a little bit. And yeah. That will close this up when I go like that. So that's the plan. I'm not recording any of this because uh, I'm just trying to grind. But you like my goggles? Almost got a piece of metal in my eye, so I'll put these on. Okay, guys, I've been working for a few hours here and got a battery in the trunk let me turn you around so that's kind of where I'm gonna have the battery you can see I have a side plate installed top plate cool uh, yeah I got a bunch of primer but you know I'm gonna put seam sealer on the seams I didn't burn the car down, but that's kind of where the battery's going to sit. Maybe a little more forward. Up here like that. It's plenty strong enough. Uh, I might do like a reinforcement strip underneath. But that's going to be it right there. So now that we have that done, 
Uh, the next task is going to be to cut the rear bumper. And that's going to be a task for another day because I'm calling it. Alright guys, next day. I got some crap on my nose. I'm just noticing it. Help me hang on. Okay. Alright, next day on the garage. And uh, as you can hear in the background here, the thermostat out. Surprisingly, I thought I was going to lose more coolant than that. but uh, So this is what I was saying. The thermostat didn't open. And now I know why. Your boy put the wrong one in. Look how much longer that is. So this thing was like fully compressed and couldn't open because it was already open. Uh, so I don't know, maybe this is for like a truck or something. Um, so I'm going to throw the, this is my old thermostat. That, this is the old thermostat that was in it. I'm going to throw that back in there. And I don't really have too much time to work on this thing today. So just throwing this on the end of the video. I did finish. Uh, I did finish welding the battery box in, and I got seam sealer in here. I seam sealed the outside, and then I also 415 around all the bare metal. And then once the seam sealer sets, I'm going to come back do another coat of 415. Then I'm going to clean all this and paint it red, just with that uh, basic uh, bright red paint. Doesn't have to paint match. It's under the car, but just wanted to bring in and tell you. I did mess up and I did put the wrong thermostat in the car. So hopefully next time that I run it, it'll actually go through a heat cycle. So we'll see.